What's up guys, uh, today uh, we're going to be doing a video on how to open up your Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. Now, uh, first up, uh, the reason why would you want to open this up is if it has become faulty and when you plug it in through the USB port, uh, such as this right here, um, it does not turn on. You don't see uh, the green light here turning on. You don't see anything pop up on your windows. Uh, same for the driver installation or anything like that. So uh, step one, what we're going to do is we're going to try to open this up. Step two, we're going to look for uh, any loose uh, connection in there or cabling or such as uh, something like that. Uh, so first up, uh, how to open this up. Uh, if you look carefully into your uh, wireless receiver uh, right here, there is this, um, this rubber kind of holder that holds the cable. Uh, over here. Uh, so what do you do is that you try to uh, get a, a small a small Phillips driver uh, such as this one here and uh, you're going to point it in right there where the rubber uh, uh, housing is and uh, you're going to try to force force the, uh, the upper bit out like that okay push it out and you can see that it started coming out uh, next you're going to keep following it around uh, the edges until it has completely come out so what you might want to do is probably hold it up a bit like that so you can get a better grip okay uh, keep moving around this whole thing keep moving around uh, like that okay just keep going around it whoops oh, pushed it in too much uh, but that's alright still not broken keep going around it Okay, like that. Keep going around. Keep going around. Uh, never give up until this has opened up, and don't let it fall back into its place and close seal back seal back again. Okay, there we go. So now you can see that we have removed the uh, the upper part of the cable uh, of the device, yeah, the upper bit. Okay, so that is off. Uh, and now you can uh, see that there is the serial number for this here and uh, the uh, the power button that, that, that powers it on and uh, for making the connection to your controller as well. Um, this here is the cable connection that connects uh, this cable to USB uh, to the PC. Now if there is a problem with the uh, cable itself, what we could do uh, possibly is cut the cable somewhere here and look for another USB cable uh, similar to this and then uh, cut that from your old device such as a mouse or something like that uh, you no longer use and then you could uh, seal back the connections again and and once again it will start working again alright guys as I mentioned earlier that the issue could have been one or two one uh, one, one of the uh, two issues that we were having uh, due to why this, this little device here wouldn't, wouldn't power up or work at all uh, the first issue that I mentioned was uh, an issue somewhere on board and the second issue could have been the cable itself uh, a power cut somewhere or the USB uh, USB end of the cable not working so my issue here was the uh, the other end of this this device uh, the USB end of this device that wouldn't work that was a bit damaged and therefore it wouldn't work uh, so what I did was I found uh, an old iPhone cable that I no longer use um, which was damaged as well but from the other end not the USB end and what I did was I cut it up uh, somewhere in between and uh, cut this cable up as well the USB end and I attached both ends uh, the uh, I attached the uh, silver silver bits of, of the both ends. It's a bit dangerous to touch it right now as as uh, um, as it's powered up uh, but uh, just, just to stabilize this picture here so you can get a clear view uh, from this right here let, let, let's let the camera focus come on focus Damn it. Okay, yeah. Over here you can see now that I've attached the silver ends of both cables with one another. Obviously I'm going to have to secure this further, but it was just for demonst demonstration purposes to make sure that it would work. Um, and now you can see that the uh, the power, the power, uh, the green light has powered up on the device itself. And it also appears on my laptop and I can actually uh, sync it by holding it in. And you can see that it's now blinking, so it's ready to sync a uh, controller to it as well. Uh, but we uh, press it one more time to cancel it. Or actually hold it in to cancel, and now it's cancel. So there we go, guys. Um, I've showed you already on how to open up the device, uh, this little device here, on how to open it up. 
uh, now I've showed you where the issue, one of the two issues. If it, if it's the main board, then I'm pretty sure you can't really. Uh, there's not much help available with the board itself. You might have to just buy a new dongle. But um, if the issue is um, uh, most certainly, uh, many times the issue lies on the USB end because by putting it in and out, it damages. Uh, so if that's the case, then please uh, do as I've suggested in the video and get your device working other than throwing it away and buying a new one. Now if this video has helped. Please do make sure to subscribe for other great videos like this and do leave a comment below if you have an issue and I'll try my best to get back to it as soon as possible. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. Peace out guys.